What up guys, today we're gonna go over VS Code extensions that I really like to use. Let's get into it. All right, to keep this simple, we're gonna go through it in alphabetical order because that's the way it's set up in the extensions on my VS Code. The first one is gonna be auto rename tag. I really like this one because if you're changing elements, you only have to worry about the first one and the last one will change on its own. Wherever, wherever the element ends, it'll be there and change the back element as well. Super, super useful. The next one is going to be bracket pair colorization toggler. And what this does is you ever lose a bracket or don't know where it ends and you don't have your code laid out real cleanly. This will help you by color coding the brackets and it'll help you find the other bracket that you need. This one has been super invaluable to me because I'm losing my closing bracket all the time. So this is one that I really don't think I could live without without at all. All right. My next one is colorize. I freaking love this one because it shows you what color. So if you're using an RGBA or hexadecimals, whatever it may be, it allows you to see what color you're picking. And then usually you can pick from that and change the color as well. And it makes it easier when you're trying to go back and change something and you're lurking, looking for a specific color, you can find it real easily. All right. The next one is CSS peak. And what this does is allow you to hover over a certain class in your elements. And it'll give you a peek of what stylization is going on in the CSS folder. So you can kind of see what's going on if you need to and uh, see what maybe you should change. I like this one a lot. Very, very useful. All right, this one's going to be a bonus. I wasn't even going to include it, but I really did enjoy this theme for a long time, and it's called Dracula Official. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed this theme for a long time. I don't use it anymore, but it's worth checking out if you kind of like the style of that, but I like to change up my themes every once in a while. All right, this next one is something that I'm kind of torn on. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's been useful sometimes, but it's gotten in my way a lot of others. And I am subscribed to Google One um, from a trial from when I bought my Pixel phone. And I have Gemini Pro for free for you know the next couple months. And uh, recently it got added to my VS Code. And it's like Copilot. <laughs> I haven't used Copilot, so maybe it's not as good. Maybe it's better. I don't know. And I, there's been a few times that I kind of like having it. And it's kind of cool because when you're using it, you get a chat on the left side where you can ask questions about your code and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm torn on this. I don't even know if it should be in the list because I definitely can live without it. But I do think it's really cool. And it has been helpful a few times. It's worth checking out if you have Gemini. Next up, we got the HTML boilerplate. And I love this because I can just type an explanation point and then hit tab and my boilerplate is started. I remember a few years back when I first started learning how to do programming, I was struggling with trying to remember all the boilerplate, what I had to put into it. And then I realized like, I don't need to memorize any of that stuff. And I found this extension and this is extension allows me to not have to remember all that stuff. I highly recommend if you're doing a lot of web pages um, for your web developers, get this one really nice. Next one's in telecode. And this one's super, super useful. And I think in the end, that's what Gemini is kind of going to be like is like a souped up version of IntelliCode. And that's pretty much what it is now. It's just not as good. It's not always right. The next one's IntelliSense for CSS. And I like this one a lot because maybe I made a class name that I wanted to use throughout my website, but I can't remember what it's called. And it's really nice when they just pop up for me and I don't have to remember what it was called. This is really, really useful when you're working with a whole lot of different CSS code and definitely recommend getting this. It's just IntelliSense for CSS. Next one is Live Server. This is another hugely downloaded one. I'm sure you already have it but it is extremely useful to be able to run your application on your port with just a click of a button. Makes things so much easier. All right, next up, we got Prettier, the code formatter. And man, I love this thing so much because it just reorganizes everything and makes your code look so clean. 
in the files. And this was such a big help early on when I was doing code. And it still is to this day, just because when I get to code and I'm not paying attention to how pretty it looks at that time. So it's really nice to be able to right click and reformat my document to look readable and organized. So cannot stress this one enough. I probably could not, I definitely could not live without this one. Great one. Next up, we got Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. And this one wasn't as important to me because I always use Bootstrap, but I'm starting to use Tailwind more and I'm starting to like it more. This is nice because those class names get extremely large and it's nice to be able to kind of hover over it and know what's going on under the hood to be able to change different things. And it's it, it's nice to let you know like, hey, these are your options with this. Next up, we got VS Code icons. And why this one isn't super important, I do like it because it makes your folders and files look kind of organized and nice on the side. It just puts little icons on each file and folder. Not a big deal, but I, I, I when I see it without it, I'm like, eh, I don't like how that looks. And last, we got VS Code PDF. And I like this one a lot, especially when I'm working on my portfolio website, because sometimes I like to add my resume to it. And if I do, this is a way to see what version of the resume I have up. And you can look at it right in VS Code without having to leave. And last but not least, a lot of people ask what kind of theme I'm running on my VS Code. And it is dark, high contrast. Appreciate you guys watching the video, making it to the end. So glad we got 600. Let's keep going. Hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon.